was a balmy summer evening and a goodly crowd was there which well near filled Joe's barroom on the corner of the square. And the songs and witty stories came through the open door. A vagabond crept slowly in and posed upon the floor. Where did it come from, someone said. The wind had blown it in. What does it want, another cried. Some whiskey, rum, or gin? Here, Toby, seek it if your stomach's equal to the work. Why, I wouldn't touch him with a fork. Why, he's as filthy as a turk. This bad needs the poor rights took with stoiple good grace. In fact, he smiled as though he thought he'd struck the proper place. Come, boys, I know there's kindly hearts among so good a crowd. Why, to be in such good company would make a deacon proud. Give me a drink, that's what I want. I'm out of funds, you know. When I had cash to treat the gang, this hand was never slow. But you laugh as though you thought this pocket never held a suit. Why, I was fixed as well, my boys, as any one of you. There, that's braced me nicely. God bless you, one and all. Next time I pass this good saloon, I'll make another call. Give you a song? No, I can't do that. My singing days are past. My voice is cracked and my throat's worn out and my lungs are going fast. Say, give me another whiskey and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you a funny story and a fact I promise to. That I ever was a decent guy, not one of you would think. But I was some four or five years back. Say, give us another drink. Fed her up, Joe, I want to put some life into my frame. Such little drinks to a bum like me are miserably tame. Five fingers there, that's the scheme, and cork and whiskey, too. Well, here's luck, boys, and landlord, my best regards to you. Now you've treated me pretty kindly, and I'd like to tell you how I came to be the dirty sod you see before you now. As I told you once, I was a man with a muscle frame and health. And but for a blunder, I would have made considerable wealth. I was a painter, not one that daubed on bricks and wood, but an artist, and for my age, was rated pretty good. I worked hard at my canvas, and I was bidding fair to rise, because gradually I saw the star of fame before my eyes. I made a picture, perhaps you've seen, tis called the chase of fame. It brought me 1,500 pounds and added to my name. And then I met a woman, and now comes the funny part, with eyes that petrified my brain and sank into my heart. Why don't you laugh? It's funny that the vagabond you see could never love a woman and expect her love from me. But was so, and for a month or two her smiles were freely given. And when her loving lips touched mine, it carried me to heaven. Boys, did you ever see a girl for whom your soul you'd give? With a form like the mile of Venus, too beautiful to live. With eyes like the purest of diamonds and a wealth of chestnut hair. If so, it was she, for there never was another half so fair. I was walking on a portrait one afternoon in May of a fair-haired boy, a friend of mine, who lived across the way. And Madeline admired it, and much to my surprise, said she'd like to know the guy that had such dreamy eyes. Well, it didn't take long to know him, and before the month had flown, my friend had stole my darling, and I was left alone. And ere a year of misery had passed above my head, the jewel that I had treasured so had tarnished and was dead. That's why I took to drink, boys, why I never saw you smile. I thought you'd be amused and laughing all the while. Why, what's the matter, friend? There's a teardrop in your eye. Come, laugh like me. Why, there's only babes and women that would cry. Say, boys, if you give me just another whiskey, I'd really be glad. And I'll draw right here a picture of the face that drove me mad. Give me that piece of chalk with which you mark the baseball score. And you shall see the lovely Madeline upon the barroom floor. Another drink, and with chalk in hand, the vagabond begun to sketch a face that well might buy the soul of any man. And then, as he placed another lock upon the shapely head, with a fearful shriek, he leaped and fell across the picture, dead. 